Here we are at a fantastic reptile expo. Please enjoy these highlight videos from a wonderful day together. Y'all, I was supposed to go to Target. I don't know how I ended up here. Girls are just so reflective. Okay. Sunlight and just tops. Her whole body is so I can't even, yeah, just so shimmery. Just like a rainbow bow or something. What's the morph? Uh, that's a Molly Golden Dragon. Okay. Somebody take them and put them in a nice three foot tall. But they live on opposite ends of planet Earth. Valdabras live in the Seashell Islands by Africa, and the Galapagos live on the Galapagos Islands in the Pacific Ocean. So they're on the opposite ends of the planet. And then, really, the only difference between Aldabra and the Galapagos is this little bony plate right there. It's called a nuptial skew. Now, I'm going to throw you off because this is Aldabra. He's missing it though. He, he, it's a genetic thing with him. But, um, 99% of the time, Aldabra can have that little nuptial plate there. But if you go to the zoo, most of the time, if you don't see that plate, it's going to be an Aldabra. There's some other little physical features with the face, you can tell the difference. But the Aldabra is not protected uh, like the Galapagos, so there's no restriction on the whole one. Um, the Aldabras get larger than the Galapagos tortoise. That's how large a male Aldabra will get. That's how big he will get. How, much, how heavy he can weigh. Whoa, 200, way more than that. Think about over 800, almost 900 pounds. You're talking about a tortoise that's as long as this tub and about this high when it's full grown. So they get massive. They get bigger than the Galapagos tortoise. The Galapagos tortoise males can get about 650 pounds. So the girls don't get that big. The girls stay small. They get about 30 inches and about 300 pounds. Yeah, they've got all the snakes. That's what you got in the heat. I don't like when they do that. It looks like they're dead. But she did that before. And there's the dream snake of all dream snakes. A piebald Burmese python. Damn! Here's a baby piebald Burmese. One's a darker silver. I love the 
And the one you're holding is a lighter, like silver blue. Now, when I was saying high end mail, this is it. Normally, these I should probably be selling these right around twenty five hundred. That's that's the true value. Of it. How y'all doing? Pretty good. Yeah, how are you? All right. Help me, Amy. We're just looking at yeah, the comments. Yeah, in the comments, yeah. What are you selling them for? Because I don't want them. <laughs> That was good. That was good. I like that. 1500 Hey Carter. What? I know we've been looking at that uh, reticulated python. It's gorgeous. So I'm gonna make a deal with you. If you eat one of these big super worms, you can have a purple reticulated python. I don't I don't wanna do it. Just leaving the NARBC. We got a couple of new things. Got some hornworms and some superworms to feed to the lizards. <laughs> Super cool. We were looking at California king snakes. We were looking at retex. We couldn't find an egg eater nor a legless lizard. Uh, so we didn't walk out of here with any reptiles, but we had a blast yet again and oh we got uh, we got some new t-shirts and stuff very fun all right thank you for learning with us and we'll catch you on the next one